Hello out and about TV viewers, we are at the Highland Wildlife Park, I hope you enjoyed the video. in the wild so they're here as ambassadors for the polar bears in the wild so you can learn a bit about them and learn about their situation in the wild and our goal is by introducing our animals to you you'll learn to love value and protect them in the same way that we do along with Edinburgh Zoo with the Royal Zoological Society for Scotland we're a wildlife conservation charity and we can't look after the animals here or at Edinburgh Zoo without your support so thank you, your support's greatly appreciated if no one else says that to you today. Um, but we also support 23 different conservation projects in the world where we're literally helping save animals from extinction. And that's specifically what your 10% optional donation goes to, which you're given the chance to pay or remove uh, from your entrance fee. So thank you. Uh, we understand all the reasons why people can't always give that, but those that do, that's what it goes to. So someone was asking, my little man at the front here, uh, it might seem a bit odd giving polar bears apples and carrots, but they are actually omnivores and they will eat grasses, mosses and vegetation, as well as in the wild on the Arctic sea ice where they live and hunt from, they will eat seals, walrus and fish, where well, we don't have any seals or walrus. So we don't give them seal or walrus, but we do give them a lot of fish. Uh, uh, the one on this side here with her bottom to us, that's Victoria. She's our adult female polar bear and she turned 26 last December. And Brody in the mud bath is our cup. Uh, and he just turned I don't know, um, He turned one in December and he's our second polar bear cub born here at Highland Wildlife Park. So our first polar bear cub has the same parents, if you like, as Brody. And that was a...